I feel like this is anyone's weekly today. So honestly, come out every week and you know, sometimes you'll do better than others. Sometimes the competition's more stacked, but hey, it's always nice to get that practice in. PS2, the classic, Game Watch versus Samus. I don't know the matchup too well, but we're gonna see who goes on the top. I've seen RJ play more, but especially because I just watched a Game Watch set, might be able to commentate on both. Strong start from Pies. Definitely gonna use that upbeat to his advantage, get out of that kind of disadvantage stage this advantageous state. Jeez, I can't speak today. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, see, we see the up B again. We'll see what RJ does to kind of punish it, in a sense. Nice Zare. Up B again. It's good to note things, especially as a commentator, because then you can kind of tell people about it. But... Ooh. I think the bucket... We just saw Pies throw out the bucket. I think that might be a very interesting tool for this. Yeah. Especially because of that. Thank you, Marion. But because Bucket can reflect and also absorb projectiles in this matchup, I wonder how Pies is going to play against Samus, but also how RJ is going to play against knowing that, okay, Pies has a reflector. I have to be a bit more caref careful with, like, missiles. I have to be a bit more careful with maybe smaller charge shots. Although, as I do say that, uh, a non-fully charged charge shot takes the first off. And there's those light charge shots. Those usually get a lot of confirms to my knowledge. Like, they can get lean into other hits, which, you know, is not as... Yeah. Because it kind of can lead to something like dash attacks, can lead to other moves, but the thing is, especially coming from the melee myself, it just... You don't see that often. You see kind of charge shots the finisher, right? But in this game, it's actually kind of interesting. You can see the moves that are in previous games used in different ways. Pi is still yet to take the first stock, but let's see how he's going to take If he'll take it, as I say that, RJ takes another second stock. Now he's going to try and pile in percent. Maybe just take it overall. Up B. That's... Oh. Pi's can't... Pi's not punishing two up in a row, but does get the F tilt to take the first stock. That looks kind of worrisome because I feel like, you know, the end lag, especially because if you shield the up B, it's... Oh, they both go for up B there, but... How are you going to punish? That's going to be the question. And that's how I feel like you're going to get a lot of your conversions up. Nair's like, we saw Pies kind of open up strong, but now it's just like, RJ kind of feels like he's in the driver's seat. Platform reads him rolling in towards center, but Pies rolls out. There's a new, there's the mid-range charge shot. You know, it doesn't kill, but it kind of pushes Pies off stage. And he almost got a Nair there, I think, so... This charge shot kind of going over. Upbeat kind of covering RJ's options. That was pretty good. See, bomb, charge shot, fair, kind of covers everything. On the ledge here, especially at 97%, I wonder what Pies is going to do. Piles on another much more damage. Up air, up air. This is going to be very hard for Pies. Charges the up smash, does get it off, which I guess the big helmet hit. Small charge shot. We see Pi's kind of shielding it. I would like to see more bucket, but hey, maybe he knows something I don't. Kind of waiting out the charge shot. Up throw. Yep, that does take it. So Archer takes game one. See, I think they went back to PSD. Sorry, I had to look away for a second. Pies look like he's contemplating Donkey contemplating Kong. character DK. Ooh, we got to see a Donkey Kong in winners' quarters. I feel like Donkey Kong is a weird character because I feel like a lot of people do rate him, you know, not the greatest. But I feel like a lot of people kind of know DK, and it's just like can make the ups upsets. I sometimes I feel like maybe this is a bad comparison. So feel free to correct me. I don't mind. But I kind of remember Smash 4 Bowser being an interesting kind of like counterpick character. It's like, hey, this can work in some matchups. So we saw some people pull it out, to my knowledge. And you know, maybe the DK, it's going to be that kind of character where it can pull the 
can pull very quick stocks, especially with charge shot, with the up B having armor. A um, lot of spike meteor moves, right? I will say though, I feel like RJ's plan now has to be kind of throw a lot more projectiles, but I think Pies is going to try and stuff him out. Something with super armor, with the big bear hitbox, maybe dash attack as well. Yeah, it's going for those down Bs. I think he wants... There's the super armor I was talking about from up B. Does go through the mid-range charge shot, so that's going to be huge. Especially because before, Pies was shielding it, and like, I guess the bucket wasn't going to work, so... Up B super armor? Why not? I thought that was going to be a quick stop for a second. Maybe like uh, up up there, up barrel, just like that, but still alive. Back air off stage, but oh my gosh, this is a crazy reversal right now. Three stock to one the pies. We saw this the other way around in game one, so. I wonder how RJ's gonna kill here because Donkey Kong is a heavy character. So compared to Game & Watch, of course, it's like you can like throw him off, maybe nares, but oh, that was nice. Um, Bomb into up tilt does still have basically a stock deficit. We'll see how... if RJ even gets a chance to <laughs> make a comeback. Pies is racking all the damage. I don't know. Up there. Trying to get the quick stock. I think he wanted the down air there, but up B immediately. Hard move to dodge unless you're shielding. Up B out of shield. Good from, good from RJ. I almost said his uh, <laughs> brand name. Brand? Sponsor's name. There you go. That gonna kill? Not exactly, but he's trying to fish for the bear there. Zare Brett tethers the ledge. Good from RJ. Oh my gosh, the armor. Oh, but he misses the punish. This could be RJ's chance. If he gets this, if he gets this edge guard, it might be good. He's trying. Can RJ take this? If RJ takes this, this is gonna be kinda crazy. Up there. Up there. Up there. That's a lot of damage. No way. Yeah, <laughs> like, no way right there, right? He does have the lead. Like, he doesn't have the lead, but he does have the stage. Hi. Oh! Oh my gosh. Ayo, hey, clip that. I'm going to say it. That was crazy. RJ with the comeback. That was three stocks to one. Three stocks to one where... Pies was up. Pies was up. It looked like the counter pick was working. I almost, I ate my words twice in a sense. I was like, well, DK doesn't seem that good. And Pies was up 3-1. It's like, okay, my bad. And then RJ just kind of took it. That kind of, it felt like it came out of nowhere, but also felt like, hey, RJ deserved that. He played it well. He got the, he got the stock off and he got a lot of damage with those up there. So big props to RJ.